Currently, Ghana is still within the Hamatan season, and according to the Ghana Meteorological Agency, satellite images show a lot of dust raised in the Sahara regions. This dust is being transported by low-level strong winds into the country, hence the very dry and dusty weather being experienced over the northern transition zones and parts of the south. Although a natural phenomenon, the Environmental Protection Agency is worried human activities are main drivers. The air quality index recorded by the agency between February 1 to 19 was largely moderate, except for February 15 to 16, when it increased to unhealthy for sensitive groups and then to very unhealthy between February 17 till date. We should not forget that climate change or climate variation has come to stay with us globally. And those of us under the Sahara must be ready and prepared to endure more hardships. So if we are going to add on to the already natural occurrences, climate-induced effects, then we must as well set up as a nation. Vulnerable groups including the elderly, pregnant women, people with asthma, lung disease, have been advised to reduce outdoor activities. For people who already have some lung diseases, for instance, people who are asthmatic, this also means that they are likely to have more frequent attacks. And when they get these attacks, it becomes more difficult also to treat than would have been the situation if the concentration of the air was of a very good quality. The EPA admits their systematic failure in tracking down vehicular emissions, which have largely contributed to the phenomenon. The GMA. They will monitor the machines. They know the trend, Matan and the dust thing, things. EPA will continue to monitor the air quality. But what are you doing as an individual? Are you, are you going to stop the indiscriminate burning? Are you going to continue to do it? That is food for thought. Additionally, the general public has been advised to take all necessary precautionary measures, including the use of pollution masks as well as desisting from frequent burning of waste and other materials.